For months we've been asking you here on RNN to tell us what you're doing to save the Earth. Well, the votes are in and four finalists have been chosen for our Eye on the Environment contest. Regina Orsania has more. Regina? Well, Andrew, our third finalist is a community that's working hard to save money and save the Earth. Students at Bethlehem Middle School in Del Mar, New York are building an organic kitchen garden so they can grow the food they eat. This upstate New York school is getting a new addition to its courtyard this spring, and it's all thanks to these students. We need to do, the, to do this because it's our responsibility to help um, the earth. I want to do everything I can to like help the earth, so every little thing counts, and growing this garden really helps our school. That's why students at Bethlehem Middle School in Del Mar, New York, decided to come together and transform the school's courtyard. Now it's an outdoor classroom and organic kitchen garden, complete with composting bins where excess food they don't eat finds a new environmental use. And the composting takes the food scraps, turns it into workable soil, which goes back in the garden, which then turns into food, which goes back into the cafeteria. Assistant Principal Mark Warford, who heads the project, says this is a green mission that will not only help save the environment, but also help the school save some money. This garden here will be a completely organic garden that's actually our kitchen garden, so the food that's grown here will be used in our kitchen. It's a revolving circle of reduce, reuse, and recycle at Bethlehem that goes beyond where the cafeteria's food comes from, but also to how the students eat it. We don't use styrofoam trays or, or plastic sp spoons or forks anymore. Um, it's that consciousness, awareness of what you use, and making good decisions. Conscious decisions that include washing silverware, eating off plastic trays, and gardening. Green steps they've now taken outside the classroom as well. But ever since I started this, I've been learning how to do this for, for myself, and I've been starting to do this at home, which helps even more. In the environment state that we're at, we really want to do all that we can. We want to do our part to make this earth greener, and we take pride in having a green school. You can join us next Tuesday for our last finalist, a school in Westchester County, New York, who's shining a spotlight on recycling by showcasing their mission center stage. And you can also view all the finalists by logging onto our website at rnntv.com. Once the last finalist is featured, you'll be able to vote for your favorite in our online poll. The winner of the $5,000 top prize will be announced May 26th.